Hi, welcome to this flow. I'm very happy to be here in Fuerteventura to film this class. Today we are going to focus on the core and the arms. So when you're ready, let's get started. You can sit in on your bum with your legs crossed. Roll the shoulders back and just take a moment to feel the air on your skin, the air in your lungs. So drop down the shoulders, relax the eyelids, touch the nose and the jaw. Notice the breath. And maybe already noticing the sunshine in your core, in your belly. Activating the belly, starting to engage the core, and maybe starting to take deep breaths. If you use your ujjayi breath, please feel free to use it now to activate it, inhaling through the nostrils and exhaling through the nostrils, constricting the back of the throat, making the sound of an ocean wave. slowly opening your eyes with a soft gaze downwards. Place one hand in your belly, the other hand on top of it, and just feel what comes in through your core. I like to visualize my core values, my own values in my core. What is it important to me right now in the present moment? And so maybe that could be a word, an emotion, an intention, or a practice, whatever it is. Maybe this needs to be the center of your day, the center of the main, the main words, or the main emotion, or the main feeling or intention of your day, your core value, your true value, what is it important to you? Take one breath through the belly, expand the belly as you inhale, and exhale to let the belly soften all the way to the spine. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. Relax the shoulders still, maybe gaze up. As you exhale, cactus your arms, open your heart, draw your elbows back and send your bum just a bit more towards the back. If you want to arch to the spine, feel, please feel free. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, cactus and open the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale to cactus and open. Inhale, reach. And as you exhale, rotate your torso slightly towards the right. Place your left hand on your knee, right hand back. Deep breath in to feel the energy coming from the root all the way to the crown of the head as you twist and you exhale. Inhale to elongate through the spine. Exhale to twist just a bit more. One more like that. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale to twist. Slowly unwind, come back to center. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, twist your torso slightly towards the left. Same thing. Inhale, elongate through the spine. 
exhale, twist. Inhale, elongate through the spine, use the breath. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. And exhale, twist. Slowly unwind, beautiful. Come into your first tabletop position. Your knees underneath your hips and wrists underneath the shoulders. Fingers wide open. Make sure you're really gripping your mat here. You really want to have the shoulders away from the ears, so make sure of that. And you can just here start to really focus on the core. So what's happening here in the whole abdominal belt. And so we want to get juicy, right? So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. So you first want to round through the spine as you inhale. Round, 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 push the floor away. As you exhale, shift your weight towards the left and drop the belly down. Cow tilt your spine, go all the way to the right and then again to the left. So you want to really focus on what's happening in the hip space and in the core space. And so you want to mm, focus on the spine as well. So we're focusing on the core today. And that's not because we're focusing on the core that it means just the abs, right? It also means the whole spine. So focus on your spine, focus on your back body and what's, what is it you're, that you're feeling there? The structure and muscles transforming into smoothie and then maybe drawing circles the other way around. So it's very, it's very much of an intuitive movement. So trust yourself, be here for yourself mm. and just enjoy the sensation. At some point, draw your bum all the way back towards your heels. You can also have your knees wider than your hips and allowing your third eye to melt towards the ground. Press your fingertips towards the floor. Lift your elbows and shoulders up. Feel the stretch happening here. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Let your bum cheeks breathe. <laughs> Inhale through the nose. Expand the heart. Exhale to send the breath all the way to your bum. Place your hands on the floor. As you inhale, round forward into a rounded tabletop. As you exhale, unfurl and one cow tilt all the way back towards your hips. Inhale, round forward. Exhale to glide all the way back. Mm, moving with the breath. Inhale, round forward. Exhale to glide back. One more like that. Inhale, round forward. Exhale to glide all the way back. Take a moment here to sway your hips from side to side. Maybe intuitive movement. Maybe just focusing on embodying a tiger <laughs> or a cat on the couch and be like, <laughs> as you inhale, round forward. And as you exhale, place your feet as wide as the mat, even wider than the mat, and allow then your hips to glide all the way down slowly. Bend your elbows. Make sure that you're rolling the shoulders back and allowing your chest to reach the floor and your forehead to reach the floor. Keep your hands where they are, close to your chest, maybe even closer to your chest, and make sure you're magnetizing your elbows toward your chest. You want to roll the shoulders back, make sure that you're activating your knees and your toes. As you inhale, baby cobra, open the heart up. Make sure you're not focusing on the crunch in the lower back, but rather on pushing through a pelvic floor and lifting the heart up as you exhale, slowly release down two more like that. Make sure you're activating your legs. Inhale to open. Feel like a wave almost. Exhale down. So you really want to allow the whole heart to shine through your eyes. Inhale, open. Baby cobra. And exhale, slowly unwind. Curl your toes under. Make your way back into a child's pose, a modified child's pose with your toes tucked under. As you inhale, round forward. Make sure you're really activating the core here. As you exhale, glide back again. <laughs> Lots of wind today. 
inhale around for your weight. Separate your shoulder blades, keep on pushing for your weight as you exhale, glide back. As you inhale around for your weight. As you exhale this time, let your knees hover above the mat. So you're coming into a bear position. That's kind of how it's called, <laughs> bear posture. So you really want to have your knees just one centimeter above the mat, right? Keep on pressing the floor away with your hands. You can grip the mat if you want to. You really want to have your shoulder blades super extra separated. So make sure of that and keep on rounding slightly through the upper back. You want to have the belly in towards the spine. Keep on activating. You should feel the fire here. You should be burning. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Five more. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Four. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> One. Inhale. Exhale, make your way into your first downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent for now or just sway your hips from side to side. Maybe extend one knee and then the other. Whatever feels good, make sure it's yours. Make sure this down dog is home or feels home at least. Take a moment here to feel your entire body becoming juicier and juicier. Hmm. So we're coming back to the same cat on the couch. Shoulders away from the ears. And as you inhale, come high on your toes, round forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, stay here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Five, four, keep on pushing the floor away. Three, round through the spine. Two, belly in. One, make your way back down your facing dog. One more like that. Inhale, come high on your toes, run for your weight. As you exhale, stay here. Five, four, stretch your heels towards the back. Three, push the floor away. Two, engage the core. One, back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. As you inhale, come high on your toes, run forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, cow tilt your bum, glide back down dog, movement of the weight. Inhale to come high on your toes, run forward. Exhale, bend your knees, glide back down dog. It's spicy today. As you inhale, come high on your toes, run forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, place your knees on the floor, Glide back into your child's pose. If you need to warm up your wrists, please feel free to do so now. So you can be very intuitive. You can come also in a tabletop position if you prefer. Or if you're in a child's pose, you can just turn your fingertips towards you and the palms of the hands turning up, to, turn to, up towards the sky and just kind of pressing the hands on the floor, kind of mm, making some delicious delicious warm-up here in the wrists. Take a moment. You can also pause the video if you want to and do more warm-up. Otherwise, as you inhale, round forward. And as you exhale, make your way back down and facing dog. As you inhale, come high on your toes, round forward. As you exhale, bend your knees, place them on the floor at the same time. Inhale to cow tilt. Exhale, chest and chin the floor. Keep your elbows magnified towards your chest. And tuck the toes as you inhale, round forward, baby cobra. As you exhale, slowly release your forehead down. All right, variation of cobra. So now press your fingertips outside the mat, cactus your elbows. You can keep your feet as wide as the mat if that's too much. As you inhale, open the heart up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly release down. Two more like that. Inhale, open the heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Roll the shoulders back. Open the heart up skywards. Exhale, slowly release and clench the jaw. One more. Inhale, open. Mm. Push through your toes. Maybe gaze up as you exhale, slowly release. Place your hands next to your chest, curve your toes under, make your way back 
child's pose for a transition with your toes tucked. Inhale, run forward. You really want to engage the core. As you exhale, make your way back downward facing dog. As you inhale, come head and toes, run forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, cow tilt your bum, glide back down dog. As you inhale, come high on your toes. As you exhale, bend your knees, look forward. You can walk all the way towards your hands. As you inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. You can have your hands just above the knees or hands on the floor, fingertips on the floor. Exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees here just for a ragdoll and just sway from side to side. You can also place your hands on your hips and kind of just twisting here. And what I like to do also is to interlace my hands behind my neck and just kind of hmm, feeling here the energy in my heart, in my belly, and my lower back. So you really want to breathe from the lower back, allowing the neck to be free. So you don't want to push the neck, right? You just want to allow the hands to be there to support the neck. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, slowly unwind. As you inhale, round all the way up into standing position, salute the sun. As you exhale, hands and angelic mudra in front of the heart space. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, cactus your arms, open the heart, slight back bend here, push your hips forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, one more. One more, inhale, raise your arms up. That was not the last one. Exhale, bend. open the heart, cactus, cactus, cactus. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, fall forward. Mm, Uttanasana. As you inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, place your hands on the floor, step back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, come head and toes, round forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, glide back downward facing dog. Moving with the breath, as you inhale, come head and toes. As you exhale, this time, chaturanga for three, two, so it's a low plank. One, stay here. Keep your elbows close to your chest. Inhale for an upward facing dog roll on your toes. Look towards the sky if you can. Exhale back to downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna do that one more time, but we're gonna twist it. So you're gonna keep your toes tucked the whole time during this vinyasa. So as you know, I like to twist things. <laughs> so as you inhale, come high on your toes. Run forward, rounded high plank. As you exhale, Chaturanga. Three, take your time. Two, one, we want to drip today. As you inhale, open the heart, floating dog. So see, I'm keeping my toes tucked. Stretch your heels back. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee towards the left elbow. Stay here, three, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Stay here for three, lift us higher, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the right knee towards the nose. Maybe you can touch the nose with the knee. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, rotate your whole body towards the left side of the mat. Extend the right leg towards the left. Plant the foot down. As you inhale, fall in triangle. Open the heart. As you exhale, place your right, left hand on the floor and make your way back into a three-legged dog as you inhale. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Deep breath in here, squeeze tiger curl. As you exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Lower the back knee down, low lunge. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, place your hands in Anjali Mudra and place your hands all the way towards the back of your neck. Elbows on pointing sky rates. Chin close to your chest. As you inhale, open the heart, engage what's here, right? You really want to 
stretch your whole front body. As you exhale, glide your hips forward and down. Make sure your front knee is above the ankle. Inhale to open. Exhale to glide down. One more inhale, open. Exhale to glide down. So you really want to activate your thighs and your heart space and your, especially your core. Inhale now to activate your thighs. As you exhale, you're gonna extend the front knee without moving <laughs> anything here. So you're not moving the upper body. You want to flex the front foot and the toes. Inhale to open the heart maybe a bit more towards the sky. As you exhale, move forward again. Inhale here, exhale to the back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, place your hands on the mat. Fingertips pressing the mat. As you inhale, open the heart. Again, it comes from the core, right? It also comes from the lower back. As you exhale, slowly release. So you want to fold forward. Inhale to open the heart. Exhale to fold forward. So it may, may feel like a lot, right? So maybe you just want to stay here. Wherever you are, you want to keep a long spine. Inhale to open. Exhale to fold. One more inhale to open. Exhale to fold and gently move back into a lower lunge. That was beautiful. Curl the back toes under, lift the back kneecap. As you inhale, high lunge, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, place your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart space. Inhale to lean forward. As you exhale, Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3, balance in the front leg. Find your drishti point, something that's not moving in front of you. Square your hips. So back heels stretch towards the back of the room. Take a deep breath in. Find your center. This is your core. Find it. As you inhale, so inhale first. As you exhale, bring your back knee all the way to the nose. Take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, place both heels on the floor. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, bend your knees for a chair pose, Utkatasana. So here you really want to have the shoulders back, right? Shoulders down the back. Really have space between your ears and your shoulders. You want to bend your knees a bit more so your bum goes a little bit more down. You want to tuck the tailbone in and under, right? So I'm not like this. I'm actually like this. I'm engaging my core as much as possible. Inhale here. As you exhale, cactus open your heart. Now calf tilt. Inhale, round through the spine. Engage the core. Exhale to open. Inhale, round. Engage, engage, engage. Just to crunch. Exhale, open. Inhale, round, round, round. Exhale, open. One more. Inhale, crunch. Exhale to open. Beautiful. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, cactus. And this time, you want to bend the knees. Back into Utkandasana chair pose. Deep breath in here. Now, maybe you want to come high on your toes and slowly go all the way down. Three, two, one. Maybe your bum reaches the mat. You're not touching the mat with your hands, <laughs> if you can. And coming into Navasana, boat pose. All right, so that's one first step. You want to have your fingertips rooted on the floor, on the mat, right? You want to have your shoulders down the back and really rolled back, really rolled back. So you want to have your shoulders away from the ears. Make sure you're engaging the core as much as possible. You should feel the fire here burning. So you want to have a long straight spine. So use your hands first. Inhale to open the heart. And as you exhale, eventually extend your arms forward. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to extend your legs and even point the toes. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, slowly lower down. Three, two, just for a low boat. One. Inhale back up, exhale down. Inhale back up, exhale down. Inhale back up, exhale down. Inhale Navasana, 
exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Five more, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay here. Maybe extend the legs. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly lower it down. Five. Keep your shoulders up. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring your knees toward your chest and place the back of your head on the floor. All right, it's not done yet. So extend your legs all the way up towards the sky. Now press your palms of the hands towards the earth. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly lower your legs down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keep your kidneys on the floor. Exhale down. You really want to have the entire back on the floor. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three more. Three. Two. One. Stay down a little bit. You keep, we still want to have the entire lower back on the floor. Lift your shoulders up. Extend your arms forward. You want to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one beautiful, relaxed bit. Bring your knees towards your chest. <sighs> and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful. If you're not sweating already, that's not normal. <laughs> All right. So you want to roll back and forth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Cross your legs and make your way back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, come on your toes, ripple forward. As you exhale, bend your knees, cow to the bum, glide back down dog like a wave. Let's do that one more time. As you inhale, come on your toes, run forward, be liquid. As you exhale, glide all the way back down dog. As you inhale, come on your toes, run forward. As you exhale, slowly lower down, Chaturanga, three, two, one. Be extra conscious of your movement as you inhale, floating dog. It's spicy. Maybe gaze up. Keep on pushing through your hands. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. In the floating dog, you really want to activate your knees. Let's do that one more time. As you inhale, come high on your toes, run forward. Exhale, lower down, three. Two, one, inhale, floating dog. Activate your heels and your knees. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Take one more breath. Hmm. Allowing stillness to be rejuvenating. As you inhale, left leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, bring the left knee to the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your left knee towards the right elbow. Stay three. Higher, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the left knee towards the left elbow. Bring it higher, three. You can do this. Two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the right knee, left knee, sorry, towards the nose. Take a deep breath in. Maybe your nose can touch the knee. And as you exhale, rotate your whole body towards the right side of the mat. Extend into a fallen triangle. Inhale to open here. 
four to your feet. As you exhale, make your way back into your three-legged dog. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, step the foot forward between your hands. Lower the back knee down. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, hands in a prayer position towards the back of your neck, elbows pointing skywards. As you inhale, open your lungs. Exhale to glide down. Inhale to open the lungs. Exhale, glide down. Inhale to open the lungs. Exhale down. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale here, and as you exhale, extend only the front leg. So you really want to use your core power here. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. So your hips are still square. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more, inhale forward, exhale back, stay here, engage the core, deep breath in, open the heart. And as you breathe out, place your hands on the floor, or fingertips rather, on the floor. As you inhale, elongate through the spine, so keep the energy, feel the energy in your bum, all the way to the crown of the head. As you exhale, fold forward. Two more, inhale, open, exhale down. One more, inhale to open, exhale down. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, release gently. Curl the back toes under, lift the back kneecap high lunge. Raise your arms up towards the sky. Again, engage your thighs. As you exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart space. As you inhale, Focus on the energy coming through the root, root all the way to the head. As you exhale, lean forward. Coming into Virabhadrasana 3, Ooh, warrior 3, balancing on the front leg. You want to square your hips again. You can also have your hands on your hips just to make sure <laughs> they're square. And really focus on your center here, your solar plexus chakra. So you want to imagine that sunshine, right? That sun shining through your entire body. Take a deep breath in, toes are looking down. As you exhale, bring your back knee all the way to the nose. Take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, make your way into Utkanasana, chair pose right away. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, lower your chair just a bit more. You want to really focus on your bum here. So how is your bum? How are your shoulders? Are you still breathing? Focus on the fire here in your core. Inhale to open the heart. As you exhale, cactus your arms. This time, you want to calf tilt, send the bum back. Inhale, run forward, engage, engage, engage the core. Exhale to open. Inhale to engage. Exhale to open. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, open. One more inhale, engage. Exhale, open. One more inhale. Exhale, open, open, open. Beautiful. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, this time, hands in a prayer position from the heart space. You want to come high in your toes, only if you want to, and go down, go down, go down. Use the core. Go down. Three two, one, if you're falling, it's fine. And then bum on the floor in a vasana boat pose. <laughs> I'm sure you did great. You want to extend your, your arms toward, forward. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, slowly lower down, low boat. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, stay, exhale, extend your legs if you can, if you want to, and maybe just interlacing your fingers or have them in a prayer position from the heart. Whatever suits you best, we're going to twist. So inhale to the right, exhale back to center, inhale to the left, exhale back to center. Keep on doing this. 
a few more times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay here. Deep breath in. Breathe out slowly, lower it down and stay. Ten, nine, eight, smile, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, feel the burn, three, two, one, and slowly lower it down. You can grab your knees and just sway from side to side. That was beautiful. <sighs> all right, extend your knees all the way up. And now we're just going to do some pauses only with the sacrum. So you want to have the palms of the hands facing down and just lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now stay up. 10, 9, maybe shoulders up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Beautiful. Roll, roll back and forth. Maybe two times, maybe three times, maybe once. And we're going to meet in a down dog. So take your time to go there. It doesn't have to be extremely graceful. <laughs> Mm. And allow this down dog to be home again. Mm. Shoulders away from the ears. Allow your heart to melt down towards your thighs. As you inhale, come hand your toes, run forward, rounded high point. As you exhale, Chaturanga, three, two, one. As you inhale, floating dog, use your legs, use your arms. Exhale, back to down dog. One more inhale, come high and toes, run forward. Exhale, lower down, three, two, one. Inhale, floating dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, come honey toes, run forward. As you exhale, stay here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your forearms down and stay here. 10. Nine, round to the spine. Eight, seven, six, rest your heels back. Five, four, three, two, one, back to high plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, if you're dripping, I am two, <laughs> four, three, two, one, back to low plank, or dolphin plank, whatever you want to call it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, lower your bum down, two, one, I can feel you from here. <laughs> All right, back to high plank, five, four, three, two, one dolphin, one last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips down, sphinx pose. Gently and tuck the toes. Bring your elbows just underneath the shoulders. They can also go just a little bit more further away, right? So you really want to have the sensation of opening the heart up. You want to have your toes on the floor. 
foot down. As you inhale, open the heart. Mm, and as you exhale, lower your forehead down. Cobras, fingertips as wide as the mat or wider than the mat. Cactus your elbows. Roll the shoulders back first as you inhale, open the heart. Feel the stretch in your belly. Exhale down. Inhale, open. Exhale down. One more, inhale, open. And exhale down. Forehead on the floor. Interlace your fingers behind your bum. Variation of a locust. So first you want to roll the shoulders back. If your elbows are bent, that's fine. You want to really have your palms of the hands together. We're going to extend the elbows. If they're not extended fully, that's also okay, right? But have the palms of the hands together. So as you inhale, lift the heart up. Extend your elbows all the way back. Don't lift your feet for now. Stay here. Five, four, look forward and down. Three, two, one, slowly lower down. All right, two more. As you inhale, lift your heart up. As you exhale, this time, lift your feet up. Push your pelvic floor. Keep on extending the arms towards the back. Keep on pointing the toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Find the joint. Slowly lower down. All right, one more time. Take a moment just to switch from side to side. Okay. Inhale, lift the heart up, extend your elbows back. Exhale, lift the feet up. Stay. Five, four, three. Feel the joy. Two, one. And slowly release. That's a beautiful. And sway your hips to the side. You can have your hands on the floor, forehead on your hands, and just sway your hips for a moment. And now you're going to extend your arms all the way towards the sides. Left side, so you can see. And then we're going to go to the other side. You can start with any side. Hips on the floor. I'm going to roll literally on my left shoulder and eventually you're going to stack your heels together. Or maybe you're going to place the right foot behind the left leg and allowing left ear, or rather the right foot behind the left leg, yes, and allow the right ear, the left ear, sorry, to mass onto the ground. Maybe you want to have the right hand on your lower back if that's serving you. Whatever is serving you here to really focus on the shoulder stretch here. Mm. So allow your whole, your whole breath to become wiser, <laughs> to become slower. And you really want to feel the fire burning through your whole body and maybe coming back to that same intention and that same word. Take one more breath here. And then slowly roll back on the belly and doing the same on the other side. So choose your own option. Hmm. Feeling the stretch in the shoulders. That's an amazing stretch, especially if you're sitting all day. Hmm. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly come back on the belly. One cobra, the one you choose. It doesn't matter, as you inhale, lift. As you exhale, make your way back to child's pose. <sighs> then make your way all the way to a rock pose. So on your knees and heels, you can have your knees together or still wide open, that's up to you. Roll the shoulders back for a moment and place your hands, one hand on your belly, the other hand on top of it. 
feel the breath through your belly. Feel the sunshine shining through the belly. The sunshine shining. <laughs> the sun shining through your belly. And maybe that brings a smile on your face for all the movement. We're going to do a heart opener, which is, in my opinion, also a belly opener. Ustrasana Kama pose. So we're going to do some variations first. Take a deep breath in, roll the shoulders back. As you breathe out, let your belly soften. As you inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, cactus your arms out to the spine. Send your heart all the way forward, your bum back. Inhale now, round through the spine. So just like we did before, exhale to open. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. One more. Inhale, round. Exhale, open as if, as if you had butterfly wings. Lift your hips up. Try to keep the same arch of the spine. So as if you wanted to do a hollow back. You want to send your bum back, heart forward. As you inhale, round. Push your hips forward. As you exhale, open and send your bum back. So there's two motions and try to re-embrace them. Inhale, round. Exhale to open. One more. Inhale, round. Exhale to open. As you inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, palms of the hands touch. Bring your hands in a prayer position all the way towards the back of your neck. Elbows are pointing skywards. Relax the shoulders. As you inhale, open your lungs. As you exhale, push your hips forward slightly. Inhale, open the heart up towards the sky, right? That's what you want to do. Open the heart up towards the sky. Roll the shoulders back. So it's not that you want to crunch your lower back, right? You want to do a teardrop shape with your body. So don't push, don't push too much. You really want to feel what's happening in the upper body. So feel the stretch in the belly. Inhale to open the heart up towards the sky. As you exhale, eventually push your hips forward and down. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, slowly release your hands. Place your hands on your lower back. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to curl your toes under. Magnetize your elbows towards each other. Keep on rolling your shoulders back, so create space in your heart. As you inhale, open the lungs. As you exhale, eventually you want to reach your heels with both hands. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you want to gaze back. Drop the gaze back and maybe untuck the toes for a full Ustrasana. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Relax the jaw. Relax the eyebrows. Keep on opening the heart space towards the sky and slightly push the hips forward. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Last one, inhale. Feel the joy. That's something you want to do every day. And then slowly release, place your hands back on your lower back. You're going to unfurl the neck at last. So first the bum, then the belly. Then the chest, then the neck. Placing both hands in the belly. Taking a moment to feel. Maybe the intention comes up again. Your core value and what is important to you. Take a moment to really feel the warmth in your body. Stay that sacred moment for you.
maybe open your eyes, maybe not, and place your bum on the floor. Padakanasana, butterfly legs. You want to have the soles of the feet together. And here we're just going to do a little counter pose, but it take, may take some time. So you want to round the spine, through the lower back and the middle back and the upper back. And allow your forehead to drop down. Maybe you want to grab your feet, maybe not. Maybe your elbows are on the floor and the forearms on the floor, palms up, facing up towards the sky and just allowing the whole spine to round. Eventually your forehead reaches the toes, but it's not the destination, it's not the point. You want to feel what's happening in the lower back, it might feel a lot. And maybe you want to make this a yin style posture and place a cushion on your feet and allowing the forehead to drop down. Feel the breath through the spine. Feel the breath through the core. Allow your whole body to breathe again. Allow the body to cool down. And eventually the prana that you created or activated to travel through the whole body, feeling it from the toes to the crown of the head. Take a few more breaths. And maybe you want to stay here. Or maybe you want to go into Shavasana with the same legs. Maybe another posture that feels good before Shavasana. Maybe you want to invert whatever is needed here, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, both hands on the belly, whatever feels right. And so know that this practice can be done before any inversion practice. So if you are working towards your inversion, that can be a very quick way to and safe way to go into your inversions as we worked on the arms the shoulders and the core. Now maybe you want to stay here a bit longer. I'll leave you to it with the intention of what is important to you today and maybe make it your center point, your focus point today. I'm sending you lots of love.